Okay, fine. That was so good! Was it? Like I said before, I had I, I had forgotten her name at the time. Milliam, it came to me later. Her Lammy and Lecter. Oh, it's so it's ingrained in my memory. I I, I do I do really like her, but still. <laughs> Officially cross Dreykel's Plaza off the list. It, it's sort of a double-edged sword, I guess is how I would phrase it. Also, Eusis, how do you feel about your brother? I'm sure that's gotta be a hell of a weird emotion at the moment. I'm ready to hit up the next spot. There's no need to be in such a rush. How do you still have space in your stomach for more? <gasps> you insult me, Eusis. I need to try all the capital's mouth-watering morsels. I can't throw in the towel this early. <laughs> you need to sample them all without eating more than your body mass in one sitting. <laughs> Says you. I'm still growing. I gotta eat. Growing up has less to do with regular consumption and more to do with acting like an adult. <gasps> Someone was a student of Reen's and not a co- uh, Not a co- uh, and Not a fellow- um, Fuck, what's the word for, like, being a student say I don't even remember anymore. Oh my goodness, words. Oh, hey guys! Lammy! <laughs> Counter argument to that, by the way. If you want me to start acting like an adult, then you've got to start treating me like it. That is... One of the more persuasive things Milliam has ever said. And she is absolutely right about that. <laughs> How's the girl supposed to feel big without being called a big sister? That might not be as much part of it, but I can respect I can respect the grift. Counter argument to your counter argument. That makes no sense. Yes it does! Don't be mean! I didn't expect you all to come this early. I see Elliot is already with you. Yeah, we just met up earlier. We were going around gathering info when we happened to see you here. Elise wanted to help us out too, so that's why she's here. I'll do my best not to trouble you. I don't think there's any chance of that. You'll be a fine help. If you need anything, just lean on me. Thank you, I will. Like, literally? You're, you're, you are at, like, armrest height, I guess. I think anyone can tell. Lisa's is going to be a more reliable asset than you here. Rude. <laughs> Seeing them at a stall together takes me back to the summer festival. How was that only a few short months ago? Feels like so much longer. It does, doesn't it? I don't remember that happening. Can't imagine Yusa saw what Rufus is doing com uh, coming either. It has to be weighing heavily on him. But at least he has Milliam to help uh, help him take his mind off of it. That does seem to be the interaction there, doesn't it? The dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Editing Echo, please remember. Your job is to... Cut that out as much as possible, and that is the thumbnail for the entire arc. <laughs> for the entire act. That is the thumbnail for <laughs> that fucking face. Oh. If I don't remember, slap me. Um, yes, that means you watching, you listening, you not doing the slapping at the moment. Because I will definitely forget. Come on, give Big Sissy some love. Uh, I don't think those words mean what you think they mean. Please, remove yourself from around my neck. But we haven't seen each other in forever. It's barely been two weeks. That's two whole weeks. I was dead for like a day, you know? It felt like forever. <laughs> she whines, but she's not trying to escape. <laughs> yeah, this is how it always is with them now. Hey, do you want to try some gelato or ice cream from one of the cells? I'll treat ya. 
The milk ice cream is super rich and tasty. I'll pass. I need to leave room for lunch. Oh, you're never gonna grow any bigger if you only eat the bare million. Uh, if you only eat the bare million, Tilly. I'm gonna stick with that. I've gained another reg on you since our last update. At this rate, you're gonna need heels to get anywhere close to my height. But then again, I am older, so maybe I've earned it. You know, it would be funny if they actually like went and adjusted the like model to make it just a little bit taller. Well, you got baited so easy. One ice cream cone, please, with five scoops. You only allow three scoops maximum? Then I'll take three. But I appreciate it if you made them as big as possible. Why would you have a maximum? Why would you have a maximum? It's on, it, it's on the buyer to, like, balance it. She really doesn't want to lose this thing they've got going on, huh? Well, at least they're bonding in their own way. Anyway. Are you guys gathering intel, or just on a date? We were not standing idly by. We were certainly not on- and we were certainly not on a date. Uh, we've been looking into the flow of goods in the capital. That would explain why you're visiting multiple shops and stalls. Well, what have you learned then? Well, it seems like there's a lot of groups buying stuff in bulk lately. All kinds of stuff too. Food, ornaments. It's almost like they're getting ready for something. Lots of groups? What sort of groups? Like a variety of groups or just like a handful that may imply something sinister undertones or is it a general bunch of groups that are doing it in the sense that uh, like it's just a societal thing. Hmm. Hmm. That is unusual. I could get panic buying in response to Crossbow's occupation but lately implies before that. Yeah, the war's over and the winter's still far off, so it can't be stocking up for the weather. And why? The buyers themselves are suspicious sorts. When we started looking into them in detail, we discovered they were either startups or foreign. That, and they all appear to exist in name only. That only adds to the mystery. Where's your ice cream? Oh, you're already done with your ice cream. Yes, I am efficient. Unlike you, Milliam. Wasn't it good? Well, yes, I have to admit that <clears throat> we are not here to discuss ice cream. If the buyers exist in name only, could we be dealing with cases of fraud? Actually, no. The transactions are legitimate. The sellers received their money and the goods were dispatched. The other significant mystery is that there is no record of where any of these goods ended up. They had to have been sent some... So they left for some, uh, from somewhere and left in a direction... The Intelligence Division has tried tracking some of these orders. But they just get forwarded all over the place before disappearing along with uh, uh, other orders like it. <sighs> they may have been... Uh, they may have had better luck if they mocked an order from the moment it's placed, but alas. Right, by the time they realize they're dealing with another one of these, the transaction is already long done. So, do we think whoever's doing this has uh, gathered all the stuff they need by now? So you said food, ordinance. Food is, uh... Food could... Feed a military force, or Mintz could uh, equip a military force. I'm curious what other stuff is uh, popped up. Probably. Sounds uh, as though we're dealing with some very skilled criminals. Perhaps the reborn Imperial Liberation Front is hoarding supplies. It would add up. They're actually trying to do something in that sense. Hmm. What is it? Nothing worthy of note. I was just wondering if perhaps. Uh, if it may perhaps lead to Crossbell's new Supreme Leader instead. Well, it could. True. I just cannot fathom why my brother would be so foolish. I just thought he'd finally learned his lesson. It makes, no, uh, makes no sense to me either. I haven't known him for that long. Even if we were uh, both Iron Bloods. But after we beat him in the Imperial Fortress... He seemed pretty much done. I mean, yeah. But then again, someone that's that down on their luck get, being given a lifeline for the thing that they always wanted might grab that and run with it. I think we are all under that same impression. Either way, speculating on what he's trying to do serves us no purpose in the now. Regardless of his reasons, I'll be sure to right his wrongs as his brother. I'm sorry you're going through this, Eusis. 
Right now, our primary focus isn't him, but the missing prince and prin princess. I oh, are we calling Shara a princess now? I mean, I, I'm not against it, but I don't think anyone said that up till now. Uh, that doesn't mean we can afford to turn a blind eye to Crossbell Mine. I'm just not sure whether the crisis there and their disappearance are connected in any way. But whatever the answer is, when our focus inevitably turns to him, you won't be alone confronting him. So don't try running off alone, alright? I... <laughs> don't worry. I wouldn't dare. I'm well aware that there's only so much I can do alone. Haha, <laughs> good. Because your friends are here to help you in times of need. And you definitely need us here. We're always here for you, Yusus. Well then, should we get back to gathering information? That'd be wise. The more we can find, the better. Then let's go, go, go! Me and the little bunny are ready to go. Indeed. We can't let the rest of Class 7 be the only ones working hard. And I'll be here for whatever you need. <laughs> whatever it is that I can do. I helped in that fight. Remember, I helped in that fight. I did an impede once. Because it was like... <laughs> um, Here's the thing. I feel very safe sort of shitting on Elise. Because... Does anyone actually like, like her the most? I don't dislike her. L let's make that clear. I think she's fine. I like her, uh, the overprotectiveness in Reem that comes out of him as a result of her. I like their brother-sister dynamic. It's the rest that's a bit, eh, which sort of embodies Elise's character in a lot of ways. Um, okay. but it's a, she does allow it to be fun to shit on her. <laughs> and just like that, we got the band back together. <laughs> I guess so. So, any luck gathering info? Yes, now would be a good time to compare what we found. In that case, how about we meet at the cafe inside the department store? Great idea, let's head there now. Fantastic. Is it gonna bring me there or is it gonna bring me to the- Okay, is it gonna bring me to the entirely different place that I, like, went? Ooh. Am I imagining things? I looked away. I missed whatever I should have seen there. Uh oh. I like the, looked away from the um, TV. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Hmm. I mean, obviously, whatever supernatural thing going on has to do with like recreating the Great Twilight in some form, right? That's ultimately what it's related to, right? Like, everything we've seen is suggesting that it's recreating it in some way. The questions are, how? And how does it relate to the idea of uh, what's happening with Rufus and all the other things that we've... Like, the other weird thing that we've heard is, is like, they're like a different person. People aren't behaving how we'd expect them to. I guess the big thing that comes to mind is brainwashing. But clearly here we're hearing more about like this big sort of like organizations doing shit too, so it could be Ouroboros. I mean obviously Ouroboros is behind the stuff in Crossbow, right? Uh to some extent. To a major like foundational extent, I imagine. Obviously. Though at the same time we also have um we also have the elements of this all where it's like literally, what's the best way to phrase it? What are they trying to do with that? Oh, like, I'm trying to remember exactly what they wanted to achieve. Like, I, I vaguely remember thinking that, like, what happened at the end of Cold Steel 4 was, like, within their acceptable ends for it. Even if it wasn't exactly what they wanted. Hmm. It's a little early, but I'd be down for lunch. Oh, forget tea time. How about we take meal time? Milliam, I think you've eaten enough. More than enough. Calm. Oh, a representative Regnitz. Greetings, Reen. My apologies for contacting you out of the blue like this. 
I was wondering if, by chance, you might have uh, met with the rest of Class 7 by now. Well, we did to get, uh, get together with the investigation group in the Capitol not too long ago, in fact. I take it you have uh, some idea of what's going on with us. <laughs> More or less. But not like back when the Intelligence Bureau was under direct control of the government. Man, it's wild that we have a direct line to the head of government, huh? How about that? There's a matter of utmost importance I must discuss with you all. Assuming you haven't eaten yet, I'd love to discuss it over lunch. Great timing. Let's all grab a bite together. Millions in the background like, woohoo! Free lunch! It'll be our pleasure. <laughs> I'm just imagining. No, the reed's like, it'll be our pleasure. In the background, you hear, really, free lunch, free lunch, free lunch. Uh, much appreciated. I'll be waiting at the Durhimo Hotel in the Ghania district. Oh, and please don't feel rushed. I have plenty of time. All right. Thank you, as always. I'm sure he's worried about his son, too. Representative Regnitz wants to discuss something with us uh, directly. Perhaps he's learned something pertaining to the incident. Either way, I think we can count on something juicy. There, Hamel, right? That's a fancy hotel in the Garnier district. What's it, hotel? <laughs> oh, consider me bumped. How about you, Yusis? Please, I'm begging you. Do not forget your table manners. It seems we still have a bit of free time. It would be best to tie up any loose threads we have uh, now while we have the chance. Right. This could be a golden opportunity to investigate the Garnier District. Once we're all set, let's head to the hotel. Okay. I didn't see anything else in terms of, like, seeing, like, events. I feel like I've investigated everywhere, at the very least. They do a good job of, like, throwing everything on the map, so you, at the very least, the important stuff you make sure you hit. Typically. Oh! Is that a fishing spot? Are you baiting me? You're baiting me. Spotted. That was an unintended pun and one I regret deeply. And so we return to... This is the horse, uh, the horse racing one, right? I don't sense anyone following me now. So why did I sense it before? Did something happen, Reed? Oh, uh, okay, so that's what that was. Yeah, if there's a visual that I was supposed to see there, I missed the hell out of that. Good sign. Good sign, everyone. Good sign. There's the opera house. Remember when we used to only know Vita as a singer here, Elliot? Her world felt so far away, but now we've been on the same stage. They actually invited me to come back, too, so I'll save you guys a seat. Nice. Looking forward to it. Wait, okay, no, this is a Cold Steel 2 area. This isn't the horse racing one. Like, we did, we like, fucked with, uh, fucked around with Ash. Is this a, is this a Cold Steel 2 area that they've, uh, updated? I think it might be. Oh, oh, that's actually a familiar name. Which, oh, which, oh. Oh, you guys are Emma's friends, right? Hey, ah, oh, fancy seeing you here, Class 7. It's been a while since we talked, hasn't it? Hello, En. I'm so sorry, I'm not sure we've met. These two live in Erin Village, where uh, Emma's from. Well, in my case, I'm a wandering witch who works outside the village. I don't remember what you did, but your name is so damn familiar. Ever since Nina qualified to be one herself, we've been visiting different places where I teach her more about the outside world. After all, she might end up following Emma's footsteps and be asked to travel forth for her own assignments. Her little brother, uh, Abireo, is doing the same thing. Who place is the one showing him around right now, I think? Oh, really? Okay. No, I, re I remember them. Congratulations then, Nina. You're now one step closer to becoming a full-time wandering witch like you wanted. Oh, thank you, Altina. I'm so excited. It's amazing how many people there are out here. It how lively they all are. The world is just so bright and shining. Yeah, that'll wear off, don't worry. <laughs> At least that's how it usually is. But sometimes, it seems like they get really gloomy, too. I wonder why. And there's the million mirror question. Yes, if I had to put it into words, I can sense multiple sources of mana that feel somehow uh, murky. I'm not as strong. It's not as strong as it was during the twilight, though. So that makes it hard to pin down their source. Yeah, that's exactly how it feels. You're so smart, Marjorie. Interesting. At the very least, there's clearly something going on, even if we can't say what it is yet. 
Thanks for letting us know, uh, letting us in on what you know. We'll be sure to keep a close look out for anything that is suspicious. Okay, good luck, guys. Well, congrats. I'm happy you've, uh, developed and everything's, uh, offered a, uh, good enough, uh, outlet. The jewelry they got inside these babies is always so pretty. Pretty enough to buy for me. Right, you sis? <laughs> Ask me again in a decade. You got it, sugar daddy. I'm gonna hold you to it. Just don't go broke so you can splurge on me. <laughs> You're ridiculous. The way they interact is so sweet. Oh, I, I love Yusus' voice actor in that one. Like, M Milliam did well, but Yusus is like sincere sort of like I'm so tired of this but I also fucking love it sort of way that he uh, delivered those lines chef's kiss like fantastic like legitimately great job on that uh this is your voice actor fun fact this amazing jewelry was avail oh my goodness they have uh I guess not all of it was some never mind some of it was they're at a pawn shop at the very least in Crossbell a new princess happened to wear none other than this Vera Tiara on display. Okay, so you're saying she returned it. The, de uh, the details aren't a rasp, but I can spare a little nugget or two. You see, that tiara uh, that had been passed down in the royal family and was stolen was returned. That tiara was then worn during the wedding and banquet, and then she switched to this tiara after changing. Our new princess. Okay, Shara. Got it. Uh, switch to this tiara after changing. Huh. I do admit to a touch of disappointment, but I'm not surprised they came to adore the brilliant shine of that legendary tiara. Man, I want to talk to those two. Like, like we got some of their interactions called CL4, but like married life with those two? That's, those are some minds that I want to pick. It is, because it, it's so interesting hearing it from like an Imperial citizen's perspective. It's so inherently different. Uh, that was like something Blue Bunk uh, stole, I think? Uh, the uniform tells me from Thoris. That's right, something you need from us. Not at all. You, it's just that uh, uh, I share something of a connection to the Academy. A few years ago, Phantom Leaf Beast, Stella Crimson Star, and Astral, and Thoris soon actually got it back. Hello, Reen! Quite some time has passed since then, but looking at all of you reminded me. Wait, wasn't that during our field studies? Yeah, brings back some wild memories. I think that was our very first encounter with Phantom Thief B. My word, you're those very students? Uh, I was on a different field study, so I'm afraid I wasn't present. But from what I heard at the time, it was rather difficult for all of you to solve his riddles. Was it? I don't know. Editing Echo, don't look that up. There's only pain in those memories. Uh, you guys act cool now, but even you were a bit wet behind the ears back then, huh? <laughs> yeah, we've come a long way. What an incredible coincidence this is. Really can't thank you all enough for what you did back then. Please, if I can ever help you in uh, here, please let me know. Sure. So we want to steal the tiara? So... Oh, I really like that sort of setup where it's like Usus is like facing forward, ready to face the future, and Millions behind, just like yeah, go Usus, go. That's actually a really fun way for them to have uh, drawn all that. I wonder if that's on purpose. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't see Heimdall become inaccessible as well as any sub events yet to be seen. Okay, that's a development. I was assuming we'd have more stuff in Heimdall at the very least. Not that it wouldn't like advance time, but I figured we wouldn't like inaccessible to the entire city. Thank you for coming. And thank you for having us. Not at all. Thank you for inviting us. Indeed. <gasps> I get to see your faces again. Okay, there better be fucking reactions to me picking her. There better be fucking reactions to me picking her. There better be fucking reactions to me picking her. Your Highness. What brings you here, Your Highness? 
I should very much be asking you the same thing. Oh boy, are you not up to date on the situation? Oh well, we have news about your brother. All this, and you're being forced to place yourself in harm's way for my brother. I'm... I'm so sorry for not consulting you first. M M Miss Alfin, Elise here did a thing where she used your, like, emotional state as an excuse to force her way into the group. <laughs> if, if you're against her being involved... <laughs> yes, as you ought to be, I'm your best friend. I could have thanked you much sooner, Elise, had you not kept this a secret from me. Then you won't stop me? Stop you? Heaven forbid. Oh. As soon as Representative Regnitz informed me of the details, I chose to accompany him of my own volition. I cannot bear to ignore a matter that involves my family. So please, let me do my part. Let me be part of your team. Yes! <laughs> doing a dance, doing a dance, doing a, doing a, doing a, doing a dance. And I'm just like moving my hands up and down like... I, I have people that live below me, so I don't want to be too loud. <clears throat> I'd like that very much. Yes. You've always been a part of the team, Your Highness. Yes. Well, this has come to a fine resolution, but it won't do to begin discussions on an empty stomach. Why don't we have some lunch first? You won't hear any objections from me. I could definitely use a bite. <laughs> Yes. Game. You are the best game ever. 10 out of fucking... 11 out of fucking 10. Oh. Yes. Ah, that really hit the spot. I can hardly believe you finished it all. Your stomach really is a void. I'd like to see who can eat more between you and Maya. Where's Maya again? Maya was like a Thor student, right? In the swimming club, maybe? I can't blame you, though. The quality of a first-class hotel's food is not to be underestimated. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get to come to a place like this on my food tour. You must have really, really liked it, too, Tilly. You ate a ton. But, well, I'm a grown girl just as much as you. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you both enjoyed it. Shall we get down to business, then? Uh, first, I want to discuss the disappearance of the prince and the new princess. Okay, so we are just... That is a good confirmation. Uh, with what we have now, we believe it to be the work of a terrorist who goes by sea. Yes, we're not too far off your, uh, your place either. I wish we could say more about them, but I'm afraid we know very little. Just that they're the leader of this so-called Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. They also look slightly different from the sea we dealt with in the past. Different mask, wears a hood. Um... Definitely a different fighting style from the little I've seen of it. I want to get a look at Eustace again. Because I sort of, like, I guess I was sort of guess- Like, I said before that I thought he had, like, a like that noble fencing. So, like, it just meant, like, airbony nobility, that sort of style. I thought- I have images in my head of Eustace using. And I think Rufus. I, I, I might be going out on a limb there. Uh, I might not be remembering that correctly. I need to, uh, I need to actually go fight with Eustace, basically. See how his stance was, see how much it reminds me of that. Uh, they also look slightly different from the sea we dealt with in the past. Speaking of which, I'd like your take on that matter, Reen. Do you believe the new sea and the original sea are one and the same? I'll admit I haven't been able to get in touch with, uh, Crow to confirm for sure. But I'm convinced that no, they are not the same person. I was thinking the same. This new one has mimicked the original style in their statement, but I think Pro has left those days behind for good. It's a relief to hear you feel that way. It would be fun if we were sent off to find Crow because of that, if, uh, if you didn't feel that way. Yeah, seems like a safe bet. As for the contents of their statement, they refer directly to His Highness. Our first target was the Foolish Prince and his wings, but now bound to inaction. That does make it quite clear that they were responsible for the abduction. 
I would assume that Wings refers to the nonsense. Vast as the Empire is, how they're able to keep a ship of that size hidden from sight is quite the mystery in itself. Yeah, it might have stealth capabilities, but that thing can only go so far on its own. It's impressive they managed to keep its location from the Intelligence Division, even if it isn't at its former size. Right, which could still imply that it's Oliver pretending to be C, because that would probably put him in a much more advantageous situation to setting that up, maybe? I don't know. Me and Tilly are still in it, though. So, you heard any new statements from C? I'm afraid not. That's the only one. We've been trying to investigate this matter as best we can, but our foe is quite cunning. We won't let them uh, they won't let themselves be caught uh, so easily. If only. Even the nature of this crime will need to be exceptionally covert during our investigation. But naturally, the government cannot and will not leave this case unsolved. You will have our full backing however you choose to go about this. If you're in need of the military police's assistance, you only need to ask. Thank you, Your Excellency. Next, I'd like to discuss my primary reason for summoning you here. Would that be the information you said you wanted to share when you called? That it would. The information was given to me by General Van Dyke. But Princess Alfin and Lise have also verified it with their own experiences. Really? Does this relate to that thing you were concerned about when we met up with Elliot? Yes, it does. Allow me to explain. The students of St. Astraea come from many a different background. We have many with a family in the military, including officers and generals. That in itself isn't a problem. What is, is that many of these military family members have been reportedly acting strangely as of late. Okay. So if it's, um... Military specific, that is interesting. Hmm. In what way? Well, I remember hearing rumors about that when I was at the school, too. Most of them are seemingly reformists and young officers who, uh, officers who idolize the late Chancellor. It's as if they refuse to settle back into normality after the war's end. Is it a new development that they're relapsing into it? And they're, like, potentially on board with it before, or...? They're still addressing others with deep aggression and are clearly very unhappy with the current state of the Empire. But the thing that concerns us most of all is the reaction to Crossbow's reoccupation. They aren't at all angry with the idea of a united nation. It's the opposite, in fact. They're in full support of it. Which means the having more military people in the capital is something that we need to be especially worried about. That is... not good. Yeah, that's an understatement. What, an, what utter insanity. The success of a united nation would also mean the end of Arabonia. Precisely. I am a reformist, but supporting such an extreme concept is nothing sort of baffling to me. According to General Van Dyke, some of them have been showing worrying signs of plotting something in light of this. Exactly what that something is in detail, he has yet to confirm. Does he have... theories? Things that we could potentially have on mind if should a situation come up involving them? Hmm. Eh, kinda ties up with uh, what me, Eustace, and Elliot found out, too. Yeah. Oh, could you tell us what you discovered? Explain. Hmm. Soldiers holding covert meetings in the city and large amounts of supplies disappearing. It wouldn't surprise me if members of the army were def uh, defecting to the Ebound Defense Force. Uh, sorry. Um, back. Okay, yeah, defecting. Is it defecting or... After what happened in Crossbow, like, again, they don't have a reason to believe or, like, have knowledge enough of it to, like, suspect it, but... Why do I feel like... I do legitimately feel like just the same thing's gonna happen in Heimdall. Which would then connect it to C somehow. Between the Evan and the, uh... EBO, the Evan and C thing. Well, actually... So, C spoke out against the United Nation thing, right? He basically was like, fuck that, why are you guys doing that? Let's take that shit down. 
And he specifically called out the capital as a place for that happening, right? So, he is distinctly aware of all this stuff before we potentially came to that. And he'd be, uh, presumably if you're targeting anything, he'd be targeting this stuff, right? I think we need to look into potential points of contact between them. Agreed. I think we've also got a clear picture of what's been going on here after sharing all we know. If we put the pieces we currently have together, the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City from Sea Statement refers to defecting members of the army. That makes sense. The statement did mention it would see those who supported the United Nations pay for their crimes. <laughs> yes, and it's all fallen into place, then. There really are rebels in the army, and punishing, punishing them is C's goal. Then who we find first doesn't really matter, because the other will be there. How convenient for us. Yeah, sure is. I'm glad I was able to put you th uh, on the right track. Class 7 always comes through in the end. Well, it feels like... It's right track, right? Your Highness? Oh, p pardon me, you don't have to worry. Yeah. I'm hardly the only one for whom life is difficult right now. I'm sure that if I were to ask you to, uh, were to, ask you to rest, you wouldn't listen. Please, at least be a little gentler to yourself, your highness. But... The great mental burden of not knowing whether family is safe and well is uh, not to be underestimated. Them being missing also means you have to carry on with the work that normally would have been given to them. You're going through too much uh, for one to handle right now. Please do not give an excuse for her to leave. Please do not give an excuse for her to leave. I know, I, I want the best for her. I want her to be mentally great, but I also want it to just be in, like via the party. <laughs> If you are feeling uh, at all unwell, we would like for you to consider taking some time off. To join Class 7 for their thing. Uh, I couldn't possibly. I'm in full agreement. Taking care of yourself is as much a part of your duties as working. Yes, mental health days are a real thing. Don't be afraid to take them. Mental health is extremely important, people. I know not all companies and whatnot are flexible enough to make that actually a viable thing, but... It's an important thing, because really, what we're trying to do in society as a whole is to make people happy, right? To enjoy their lives and gives them purpose and all that sort of stuff. That is the point of society, right? Uh, while you do that, we'll see to it that these crimes are solved. You have our word, no, she was talking about joining the group before. No, why are you... I'll do what I can in your set. No, please don't. No. Why do you pay me like that game? Why do you pay uninstall it right now? Now see that Prince Oliver and Lady Sherizard are brought home as soon as possible. You can put our trust in us. I'll put your trust in us. I, I suppose you're right. Perhaps resting is as much part of my duties as well. My heart is breaking for you, your highness. No one should have to handle a burden like this alone. Reen? You're staring. Oh, um, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. <laughs> it wasn't my intention to scold you either. I'm well aware that you're being considerate of my feelings, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> okay, that, that is definitely, yeah, that's the unique dialogue. I, I can feel it. And you won't have to worry, Your Excellency. We're still not sure exactly how the situation stands in Crossbow, but I'm sure Machias is just fine. I concur. It will take more than this to make him lose heart. Thank you both. I also put for, uh, similar faith in my son. I'm sure he's doing everything he can on the inside to see justice prevail. As are Elisa and Toa. I think we all feel the same way. <laughs> they ain't got nothing to worry about as so long as they have Super Maid with them. And we're a whole super crew, so if they, uh, if they got things covered, so do we. That's right. Don't you dare, game. Don't you dare imply something and then grab it away from No, please don't. Don't, don't tell me that you're just trying to imply that you'd be involved in the conversation and the information element of it. No, don't take it away from me. 
Oh, thank you all for your time. I'm glad we can exchange information. It was a very worthwhile meeting. Was it? Oh, we have to make our way back to the palace. Be careful on your journey, everyone. And I'm counting on you, Elise. Thank you, your highness. Good luck. I'm always available if you need to get in touch. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? I know you gave me a lot of party members otherwise, but it's the one thing. Why do you tangle that and just... No. no. <laughs> Should we get going too, then? Yes, let's... <clears throat> let's... Damn it! They phrased it in such a... Such a way! I don't remember who you... Oh, they, they look familiar. Yeah, I find it. I don't care. Is this, is this my... Oh, I lost access to Heimdall, right? Right? Fuck, I need to get more water at least. Oh my goodness, game, you meanie. You big fucking ass meanie. Well, if we lost access to Heimdall, that implies as soon as we step out this door... Hmm. Something feels... strange. Yes, it will. It will also not be possible to go any further and read story for a brief period. Ooh, okay. Is something wrong? It's... probably nothing. I just got in a weird feeling. Feels like something in my pocket that wasn't there before. What is this? Okay. Suddenly I'm feeling like maybe this will... The fact that you won't be able to proceed... Okay, so it's probably going to be like I said. I, I had a feeling... Because they're going to do something to bring everything together at some point, right? And we also got this mention of a reverie corridor in some of the items. So that's my guess. That's a weird looking mirror. Since when did you carry around one of those? Since never? This isn't mine. It just ended up in my pocket somehow. Are you certain? I doubt anyone could slip something into your pocket without you noticing. Yeah, nothing gets by you, Reen. Hmm. I don't have a clue how this got there. There has to be a reason behind it. But I can't imagine it connects to, in any way to the princess's disappearance or what's happening in Crossbell. What? What's happening? 